Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through Use Data Loader I.O. to export data. This is the second unit in the project Import and Export with Data Management Tools. Before I get into this, one thing that I don't think this unit does a very good job of explaining is explaining like why in the world do you want to do this? And it becomes a little bit more clear once you see what happens in the second unit, but I'll just set it up for you now. You know, as a company, as an or you want to have all of your data about your customers in one place and that place is Salesforce that's your Salesforce org however sometimes the information that's in your Salesforce org is not correct and so therefore you want to update it or maybe you want to add on some additional information to it the project that we're going to do right now the step that we're going to do right now is a way of being able to export your data out of Salesforce adding a bunch more information in and then we're going to import all that data in the next unit. So that that's a way of being able to sort of mass update the data that's in your Salesforce org to make sure it's accurate and um, it's got all the information that you want. Extract extract data with Data Loader IO. Data Loader IO. Uh, we're going to we're going to use this. I just want to point out Data Loader IO is a is a MuleSoft product. MuleSoft was acquired by Salesforce a couple of years ago now, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, and um, one of the things that it, it offers a bunch of different features that weren't in that simple mapping that we did in the first step. So it has in like intelligent data mapping. Um, it allows you to connect it so you can, you know, run this stuff on a scheduled basis. Um, so let's say if you have one platform where you're selling your customer, where your where your sales are happening from, but you want to get that information into your Salesforce org, you could use Data Loader IO to schedule batch updates on a regular basis, so that information doesn't just stay in that separate system, but ends up in your Salesforce org. So that's why Data Loader IO is so cool, and we're able to use it here too. So from setup, enter data loader IO in the quick find box and then select data loader IO. So we're going to go to here. This is cool. And we're going to click launch data loader IO. And then we're going to confirm the redirect and I'm going to log in with Salesforce. It says here, ensure the login with Salesforce Water has the following selections. I have a Salesforce domain. Leave that unchecked. Environment, production, and I agree with the terms and conditions. I'm going to click check here. Oops. Didn't mean to click that. Now it tells me to log in. Here's the problem. My Salesforce account is connected with my trailhead, trailblazer.me profile. It might not work. So we're going to see, um, ah, good. It identified my wise moose. That's my trailhead playground. Um, yeah, that works. I was afraid it was going to identify my Salesforce account and then I want to be able to do this because I don't have permission to do that into Salesforce. Click login. Um, if necessary, click allow. Okay, looks like we're here. Um, if you are a person who is already, who is, you know, an employee at a separate company and you're doing this in your child profile, just make sure you're looking to, that you're logging in with the right credentials into the right org. That's the main thing to think, keep in mind here. The next step is to select the account object, rename the file to be extracted, and save it to the desktop. Okay, so again, we want to get data out of the account object out of our Salesforce org because we're going to update it as a CSV file. So we're going to click um, new task and then export. Okay, good. That's the connection. And then leave the connection selection as is and select the account object from the list. Click next and then 
From the fields menu, select account ID, account name, and account site. Click, I don't know how to pronounce that, Sokol? S-O-Q-L is the Salesforce object query language. This is very similar to SQL, which is the structured query language. Um, if you're new to this part of the universe, um, so there's lots of different languages, obviously, that get used in creating our digital world. So you're probably familiar with HTML and CSS. HTML creates the structure for our websites. CSS is how we style them. Programming languages like Java and JavaScript and Python are languages that allow us to create logic for if this happens and that happens. SQL is a query language that allows you to search information in a database. Uh, SQ, S, SQL is SQL often used within lots of different types of databases. Salesforce has their own version of it, and that's SOQL, SQL. I don't know if that's whatever. So we're gonna do this. To complete the where clause for your query, complete and copy where type like is fill in the customer in the box. So the query looks like this. Select ID, name, site from, where, where type like is like this customer. If you get the oops, click close. Okay, so we got this filled in and we're gonna click next and then click save and run. Right now let me load more data, okay. Next, export the extracted record to a CSV file and view it in Excel or Numbers. Click the 11 successes. Okay, now we're gonna look at the CSV file we just created or open up by double clicking it. Got it open. In Numbers, click B to select the name column. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm in Excel even though I'm using a Mac. Fine. Roll the cursor over the B column and click the arrow down arrow and then select a sorting. Okay, just say sort by account name. Okay, your IDs for each account will be different in the examples below. Fine. And save the spreadsheet as a CSV file and then we're gonna save it as account exports. File, save as, account exports. They want me to save it to one place. I want to save it to someplace different. Okay. And that should be it.